Bolero, or to give it its full title, Bolero, The Peacock's Tale, with Tony Levin on bass. Bolero is part of the Lizard Suite, which fills the whole of the second side of the third King Crimson album, Lizard, released in 1970. This is one of the many pieces that have been reinvented by the current incarnation of King Crimson, who first performed it live in 2018. In fact, the first time the front line played it together was at a rehearsal in my house in April that year. The reinvention actually started many years earlier in 1991 when Robert Fripp invited Tony Levin to play a new bass part on the original studio recording for inclusion in the Frame by Frame box set. I remember that particular session very well as it was the first time that I met Tony Levin. I picked him up from Peter Gabriel's Real World Studio near Bath and drove him to Tony Arnold's studio in Cranbourne where we were making the box set. As I remember it, in the studio, Tony Levin sat on the couch behind me and as I played him the track, which he'd never heard before, he quickly wrote himself a rough score. There was then a brief discussion with Robert Fripp about what he wanted, including a question about whether he still wanted the top bass note to be slightly flat as it was on the original. The next time I played the track, Still sitting on the couch behind me, Tony Levin recorded the bass part all the way through. The third time I played the track, they both listened, decided they were happy with it, and the session was done. I remember thinking, whoa, that's what it's like to work with a truly world-class musician. There's an interesting second part to this story, because early in 2018, we sent all the band the original recording of Bolero so that they could begin to work out an arrangement. At a rehearsal, I heard that Tony Levin was finding it difficult to relate to the bass part. And so, as an alternative, I sent him this recording, which apparently worked better for him. He had no idea that it was him playing the bass part. In fact, the other day, I asked Tony if he had any memories of the session that I could use in this introduction and he said that until I told him, he didn't even remember he'd ever played on the track before. I suspect that between them, Mel Collins and Tony Levin have forgotten a larger number of sessions than most musicians would get to play in a lifetime. So here is one such session. Bolero, with Tony Levin on bass. <laughs> 